Okay, this is your lovable widower Prince DJ. A still angry Prince DJ because I would at least have some food while because you see uh, it's definitely been confirmed when I got in trouble the other time, the other day when I was playing Pressure Love because, because of some, uh, the other roommate had to have a meeting at the time when I was playing games, and games already play only played at night, which some people don't seem to understand. But the fact of the matter is, I'm still angry because the store, the Dollar Tree, uh, the the Dollar Tree that I went to on the day. On the month that I went to before that, had happened to close at the wrong day, and then yet the yet the next thing I know, because uh my uh there's a lot of people who work in the house, and I'm the only smart that does because of, because of my disability, but you see, it's hard to be waiting all night or or I should say all day. The day is very long. Yesterday seemed like it's the longest day ever of my entire life. I don't even know what the hell was going on. Uh, but other than that, and yeah, there are two people that help me in the house, just like there's two people that help me online with food. But you see, I'm not an influencer, okay? An influencer is people that someone that gets a lot of people to do, like, say, for example, watch a podcast or donate money or or do this. I mean, I was just lucky when I when I ran for uh a state house when I used to live in Springfield, Missouri, and I and I came in second place, which was still very shocking. I almost beat it in comfort. That was still shocking itself. And, you know, the only time I lost for senator is when uh Trump picked the uh, uh either uh, Emma Smith, and it was an, or, or another candidate that he, he said just pick between the, the, the two of them, you know. But other than that, I am still shocked that I came in second place when when I ran for state house in, in Springfield. I'm still shocked over that. But the but the problem is, I'm still struggling. I'm still freaking struggling. I've been put in the line. I was supposed to have gone to Key West. Okay, because you see, without food, a person can't even think. And you're supposed to have what's three meals a day? I don't even know what the, I don't even know what that is anymore. I don't even know what. The, and at times, my phone act up. I mean, you could clean the phone at a gazillion time, and it still says, "Nope, we want to run down your battery." Like there's like like uh, you're in a place where the phone drop battery drains out a lot. Uh, such as a store or conference or whatever like that, where a lot of people are using their phones. I need my phone. I don't like the the secondary phone, the emergency phone, because you're typing something, and for some reason, it doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to uh keep typing. It just want to pushes you away. Want to pushes you uh your work away, where you can't even work. And then the YouTube is not even allowed. I mean, I'm, I'm practically want to get another phone once I get settled into uh, Galveston, and you know, just be done with the other phone. I mean, I'll get another secondary phone once I get it to Galveston. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's terrible. The other phone is terrible. I mean, the Wi-Fi works, but it's just terrible. I can't even, I can't even work when I wanted to work, and the sound quality for the Discord is terrible. How the hell am I supposed to play games and I can't even hear, especially if it's a trivia game or something like that, or or when we play Pressure Love, can't even do that. It's horrible. But I, yet I need another phone just in case in order to either, um, you know, be able to work online or to do the podcast, and I need it. I actually need it. What the heck going on with this phone? How the heck? Okay, well. Alright, so first it was uh back back to the regular, you know, it was already fully charged, and then now it's back to the part where it's charging. Okay. See this phone is acting weird. Uh my roommate did say that it probably maybe time for another phone. Yeah. 
I did have it for a whole year when I was in Dallas last year, but this time I wasn't a Texan. Um, I came and went uh, and went back to Missouri at the time. So I did have this phone for a long time, uh, public confession. But why they don't make these phones last more than a year? I mean, what, they make you want to get a new phone every year? I mean, every every year? I mean, we're in the middle of inflation. I'm trying to wonder where the, where the hell our next meal come from. Okay? I passed out twice yesterday. One because of the heat, two because I was hungry. But let me tell you this. Shout out to my uh, my roommate who made that great, great, awesome, delicious taco salad. I was like, oh my God, I thought I died and went to heaven. Oh my God, that was, I mean, that was amazing. That was absolutely, positively amazing. If I had a cooking show, if I had a cooking competition, he would have moved on to the next round. Okay. He would have definitely, he would definitely would have stayed off uh, elimina- elimination. He would have moved on to the next round. Probably even to the finals. <laughs> well, there's only two. <laughs> Only two people that help me. It's like two by two by two. You know, I got two people on 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 the internet who help me, and then I got two people in the house that help me. So I guess you could call it the power of two. I don't know. When you got thousands of friends online on Facebook, and then a thousand uh, on on Twitter, and then three thousand following you, and then that doesn't do anything. It doesn't make no sense. But anyway, anywho, I'm still very disgusted that I could that I can't get the food I to eat, you know, like for maybe like a mini snack or whatever like that. I, sometimes I get weak, and then I'm also dealing with heat. I mean, it's getting to the point where I'm I'm used to heat advisories now. It's getting right to the point where I'm used to it, but I'm still not used to going outside the heat again because I'm afraid my body PTSD is afraid. Of passing out in the heat. Okay. And I w- yes, I would have walked to the store by myself because I know a couple of times how to get there, but it's just too hot. You know, almost getting ready to get to triple digits almost every, nearly almost every day. How the hell am I going to get out? How the hell am I going to get out? Okay. I need... Your help, please. I'm going to put information on how everybody can help. This is an ongoing, ongoing thing. Because you know, you know I'm going to going home to a uh, podcast movement on August 20th. I'm still going to need food then when I get to the, hotel, the main hotel. And you know... That I'm going to be moving to, oh yeah, I'm going to be moving to uh, Galveston, August thirty first. I will be depositing on like the day that I usually pay my rent. I'm still going to pay some rent towards uh, Pathway because I need something while I'm still here, and then I'm going to put something towards Lyft for because I only have four dollars on me. Only have four dollars. Four dollars after a wasted trip, and have no other recourse, no other way to get back to the store, so I can have food at any time. Uh, that uh, you know, my roommates are not here because I, I say it again. The roommates work at different times, but I'll also say it again. GSP won't play like now. But they don't start to like oh six forty five seven o'clock and they play straight through until, you know the full the schedule is done or if there's a conflict or or if there's a conflict of interest or whatnot. They go to at night and if I get to trouble cheering, they, I get in trouble for cheering because I won't be here past August. Well, except for when I go to podcast movement and I got a quick turn around back and then I got to fight PTSD on the twenty eighth. Which I'm not looking forward to it. I'm definitely not looking forward to that. 
I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's the 31st, but that's I strategically picked that day because I do not want to move on the 28th, and my mind is not going to be right. I strategically picked that day for a move out for that particular reason. And the fact that my money comes in. So, oh, yeah, and they want a deposit. I had to have, like, a a, 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 a deposit, like the the uh, $150 deposit, and then, I guess, the weekly deposit, whatever the, the heck that was. I think it was two-something, whatever it was. Now, I could also pay month to month if I wanted to, but then that will only mean I'll have $30, $35 just enough to get food, and then the blind pension that I have now only go towards, you know, either investing and then some other food for the other part of the month and maybe, you know, pay partial for my uh, podcast room. So I had to keep doing that. And then, but I had to stop either to, you know, probably pay for the flight back and forth because I still got to have Lyft to take me to the hotel. I was trying to stay at the podcast hotel. At the at the with him at the uh at the international drive. I don't want to transfer to a hotel because right now I'm living in. Uh, at the time I will be living in Galveston, so I can't transfer to another. I'm not making that much money. I'm not an influencer, like I said before. An influencer is the one that gets a whole lot of followers to, you know, watch their watch their product, buy their product, or donate money, or what vice versa. My show is not even famous yet. There's still people that that's not even moved into Big D Country. The people that don't even know what what the hell Big D Country is or what Big D Country stands for. Okay, it probably it's still new. Even when I go to every year I go to podcast moving a podcast, they don't even know besides my full regalia that I wear, which is my costume. They don't even know what the hell is Big D Country. And yet there's new people coming to podcast, podcast moving to podcast every single year. Every It's two of the biggest podcast conventions in the entire world. In the entire world. And make no mistake, I go to both of them. I go to both of them. And I'm trying to continue to go to both of them until I die. Until the day I die, and that's the only re- and that's the only reason why I won't go to a podcast, uh, podcast moment or pod fest, is that I die. Well, the last time it was because of COVID, but I couldn't do anything about that. But still, the only way that I won't make it is if if I die, and if I don't have any money, I can't make any money out of it. But that's the but that. That's neither here or there. I mean, I'm still waiting on my income from LiveGood. I mean, it's still... Well, I do get paid. I did get my first $10. I did get that. And I did get my first $25. The problem is the building is so damn slow. I mean, oh my God. Yeah, you can build without recruiting, even though you can't recruit. But it's like, to build it faster, you have to try to get a recruit. But then they won't even upgrade. It's like, they just sit there... In your, they just sit there, and then they won't upgrade. They won't be in. The, they won't upgrade. They won't be an affiliate. Some people opt out, and it's crazy. That's not even how how you do, how you build a business. That's not how that's not how things go. You don't use blood, sweat, and tears, and not not people and have, not even have anything upgraded. I, I I can I have two bronze. No, scratch that. I caught three blondes under me. I knew I had two for the longest, but now I have three blonde bronze under me, and I'm I'm not even bronze. But you need two people. That's already got okay. I only have one. I only have one, and I'm not even a damn bronze yet. Okay. And I have lived good for a year, and then sooner or later, probably when I get to Galveston, I'll have to put down another hundred dollars so I can be there for the entire year. It's freaking hard. I don't have advertising money. Hell, I don't even have advertising money for my own podcast. And again, 
go to podcast movement and process is key because, hey, the only thing I have to do is pay for the hotel or, and the flight at time because I always try to apply to speak. And then thankfully, I was, uh, when I was a podcast, I was invited to, uh, I was invited to the, uh, the, uh, ambassador, board of ambassador. And hopefully I'm still a board of ambassador. And then podcast movement, I was just lucky one year to, to pay a low price, you know, for the lowest tier, which was the only one that I could get to. But I still go. I, I still go because A, is part of my appetizing. B, I love the atmosphere. C, it's inspired me to do more podcasting, which helped me cope. And then D, I made some friends. I mean, one of my friends is the president of the conference. And one of the one of my friends is my vice president vice president to run a mate. Yeah. I kid you not, I shit you not. So all in all, I gotta say this. I need your help. I know I'm not an influencer. I know nobody don't wanna do things. But please, if you can hear the sound of my weak voice. I am weak at time, although I had that really good, really good taco salad. But it was at night. It wasn't until at night. And then I ate the chips. and I, I had to spend like a couple of days for the chips. Because thankfully it was a bigger bag and not the little bag that I've been having when I panic bought. But I need your help. I'm getting weak. Yes, I'm drinking, but... I'm getting weak. This is ridiculous. And then I got to leave for podcast movement on the 20th. That, that's going to be traveling postcard. And then after I come back, I got a few days and then turn around. Well, I don't have to worry about packing because there's not that much to pack. But and then my bag, one of my bag is broken. So I'm not going to take that. But I got very little pack. But still, I, you mean to tell me? When I get the small turnaround time to to uh for exile, exile to Galveston, oh yeah, I made a funny post on Facebook something about uh instead of uh Gilligan's Island, it was Prince DJ Island, and I'm giving Galveston a try. And yeah, I am on the waiting list to uh I am on the waiting list to uh Section A housing in Hawaii, but it's gonna be three years. Will I be around for three years? I don't know if I'll be able to wait for three years, but I'm one of the 3,000 that will have to wait for three years. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely a thing. But Galveston will be the new capital of Big D country, even though it's still a suburb of Texas, but 45 minutes away. But Galveston will be the new capital of Big D country. And whatever place I move to will be now be deemed the second palace. Okay. It'll be no more interim now. Uh, I just got to settle away, but there's no more interim now. And it is a lot. And it is a, they do have a mini fridge or, and a microwave in the room. So, you know, I can stay in the room because the only thing is, to, you know, with the bathroom situation. But nonetheless, still. A lot of benefits are going to where I'm going. Oh, my God, my God, my God. I mean, it's hard to wait till roommates. And it's hard to wait till roommates come back from work because, like, what they have different times and, you know, they work outside a long, a long time and, you know. Oh, help, help, help. I need somebody help. I just anybody help. I just anyone help. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Dollar Tree. I'm still holding the grudge against you. I'm g- I'm kind of glad that I will be in Denver by the time I will have to use my food stamps again. I am so glad because I, I was embarrassed, and I now I lost the money. To go back to the store, I only have four dollars. But now, 
the money for Lyft is going to have to go to take me to, well, I might be able to use part of it because I'm pretty sure the airport and, and like, most of the hotels around where, where podcast movie is going to be is all around Denver Airport. It's very close to Denver Airport, which I just discovered. Because originally I was going to stay at the Motel 6 downtown, and then Vice President told me that, well, to, uh, soon to be Vice President told me that uh, the Motel 6 that I was originally going to stay in was way too far. So I was uh, going to, and anything at the Gaylord, I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised that the Gaylord in Denver is close to the airport. I'm shocked. I am completely shocked. I was like, okay, because there's a lot of airports around that area. I mean, a lot of hotels around it. See, this is what I get when I can't have food anytime that I want to, except for at night. This is what I get. Oh, another thing. I forgot. I don't know where the same good cook that ought to be in a cooking show that will probably win, but the same one that got the really good Really good bologna and cheese with mustard sandwich. Oh my god, I wish I, I could. Now, there's a couple of things I could live off on. A couple of things I could live off on besides grapes. And I love grapes. But it has to be seedless, though. It's pizza and now those uh, ham, and, uh, ham and cheese or turkey and cheese and, and the mustard sandwich. I don't know. I don't know if Texas know how to make sandwiches, but my god. They're good. They're absolutely good. I could use another one right now. Right now. Uh, I hate this. I hate this. Help me y'all. Alright. There will be a PayPal link. PayPal me link at the description. And on YouTube, the description down below. And there will be a way for you to send me uh, Grubhub gift cards. If you do so uh, incline, because I need help, y'all. I really need help. Thank you.